Kubernetes Security, KubSec, as we call the event, is a day where we bring a Kubernetes and security practitioner together. We believe the need for this meetup is uh, growing very, very quickly, and we're very happy to host this event. This is a day that's dedicated entirely just to discussing security issues and challenges around Kubernetes and cloud-native applications. There are lots of new entrants into this field, and they can learn from the mistakes and successes of, of people who've done it before them. We've brought together some end users, we've brought together some technical experts, we've brought together people who can help enterprises navigate what they need to do to run a Kubernetes deployment securely. In the past, it was the Kubernetes dashboard. Um, it wasn't configured with username and password. You could just get into it unless you went in and changed the default. That's now changed, but that was something that people didn't realize. Like if you take traditional applications, they assumed that it was secure by default and it wasn't. Containers give out a lot of information. People don't realize that if you are deploying containers, it actually tells a lot about itself to attackers. And still the biggest issues we see is weaknesses, think SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and vulnerabilities. Today, we have thousands of developers, but we have very small security teams. So you're looking for ways to leverage those developers to do more security from the get-go. Aqua revolutionized this market by enabling those developers, by enabling the DevSecOps teams to have more securities into their processes. And what you gain out of it is that when you're running your software in production, it's already secured from the get-go. It's fascinating to see products like Aqua that look at across the stack, like how can I secure my host, how can I secure my application and the network on top of it, because it will only get worse over time. Like we have more and more layers, more and more complexity to manage. We need to bring security uh, forward to enforce it, but to enforce it in a friendly manner to make sure that developers, uh, they have the feedback that their application is secure or not uh, very early in the development process. We've been very fortunate to have great partners. We have fantastic customers. Many of them are Fortune 500, so we work with the largest organization in the world. They are helping us as much as we help them. This is a journey that we take together. In many of them, we start on very small scale, very early in their adoption cycle, and we grow with them. We now have customer in production, and I think we secure the largest container and Kubernetes deployment in the world today.